are the young ladies of London truly so easily won by a pleasing smile and absolutely nothing more? So you find my smile pleasing? I find your opinion of yourself entirely too high. Your character is as deficient as your horsemanship. I shall bid you good night. I see you've met Miss Edwina. This is uh... her sister. Miss Sharma, my lord. Oh. I have never met a man as brazenly presumptuous. You do not even know me. I know you are polished. I know you are careful. I know you make promises without so much as uttering a word. There is not much more I need to know. I see my plan to win you over is already working. I was smiling at the view. The other morning. When I was stuck. After which you put my hand to your bosom. To show you I was unharmed, you were overcome. Indeed I was not. You were the one who then looked at me. You looked at me! Not in the way that you did. And how exactly did I look? If you say she is the one in whose presence you cannot properly think or even, or even breathe, the one that makes it impossible for you to look away from them at any given moment. Body and soul feel as if they could burst into flames whenever the two of you are near. And when all you are able to do in their presence is to fight the urge to lean forward and, and touch their lips with yours. Miss Sharma may I have this dance. You may, my lord. That is it, is it not? You simply do not like me. Of course I do not like Then you. tell me why. Have I done something to you? Why is it that you dislike me so? Because, because you vex me. And what is it do you think you do to me? What? What do I do to you? is with your sister. Say you do not care for me. Tell me you feel nothing. Will you marry me? Michelle. Lord Bridgerton. So tell me, what has she done? She has done nothing, it is you. You have made this match impossible. But I am leaving for India. And it is not far enough. Do you think that there is a corner? Earth, that you could travel to far away enough to free me from this torment. I am a gentleman. 
My father raised me to act with honor, but that honor is hanging by a thread that grows more precarious with every moment I spend in your presence. You are the bane of my existence. Night and day, I dream of you. And when I am, do you even know all the ways a lady can be seduced? The things I could teach you. I did not ask for this. Please, please, Lord Bridgerton. Anthony, you must keep your word. You must marry my sister. You must marry her as soon as you can, because this feeling that plagues us so, it will pass. It will become tenable. It will become bearable. And soon enough, it will be as if we never felt it at all. Mere passion. It must, because it has to. Love him. I have ruined her life. You should not be here. Just, just. So forgive me, if it is now my wish to suspend time, to delay the inevitable, to for a mere moment not to think of what comes next. We did not. Nothing happened between us. How could it? 
You were my sister's intended. There is no world in which we could kiss. Are you quite serious? We did a terrible thing. be ashamed of what we did. A man used to always getting his way. A man used to giving orders without any. You, orders. you give me orders and you expect me to listen. I do not listen. Well, perhaps you oh, I shall never listen to you or to anyone I wholeheartedly disagree with. Yeah. The fact it has taken you this long to come to terms with that, to accept that fact. You wish to know why. I am uncertain you even know why. I know why. Oh, here we go. Enthrall me with your self-knowledge and awareness. It is because I've never met anyone like you. It is maddening how much you consume my very being. My family is on the brink of ruin. I'm nearly certain every last one of my brothers and sisters secretly despise me. My own mother at that, despite the fact I've lived the better part of my life for them. And yet still, all I find myself thinking about, all I find myself being able to breathe for, is you. Do you think that I want to be in this position? Contending with these thoughts of wanting to be nowhere except with you. Wanting to run away with you. Of acting on the most impure, forbidden desires. No matter how much you must I am a gentleman, and you are a lady with that, that scent. Before what? Before we both finally do something for ourselves? Are you going to ask me to dance? One last time. Are you going to say yes? I love you. I have loved you from the moment we raced each other in that park. I've loved you at every dance, every walk, every time we've been together and every time we've been apart. You do not have to accept it, you do not have to embrace it, or even allow it, knowing you, you probably will not, but you must know it. In your heart. You must feel it, because I do. I love you too.